Today I'm going to talk about the wealth of God. And it's hard to feel the wealth of God when you are experiencing times of great lack. And I know many of our viewers are and our readers of Positive Daily Inspiration. There was a time, actually there have been many times in my life that I've been out of work and uh, I literally was down to my last dime, especially when I was in broadcasting years ago. It would be where I'd be uh, at the top one moment and then down the next. And it's, it's happened in ministry too. It is all the road of life. But when I got the idea in my mind of the awareness of God, when I got the idea that I was not alone, when I got the idea, but more than that, immersed in the presence of God, which is truly the meaning of baptism, that I was one with the wealth of God, things started to change. The wealth of God will fulfill your needs, no matter what it looks like to your present eyes and your present vision. You are God's child. You are meant to be prosperous. And therefore, you can walk through your days even when you're experiencing lack and say, thank you, God, because you know who you're connected to and you know what that connection will bring. Now, if you are free from feelings of lack, I bless you and I praise you. But there are many that feel greatly in need. There may be a lack of work at this time, or maybe a lack of training, or a lack of money to cover the needs and meet the obligations. You may also be concerned about dear ones. I know that the majority of our prayer requests are for others that are out of work and the apparent lack in their lives. This is the time to affirm the wealth of God, to literally put on the Christ. That means to immerse yourself in God and the awareness of God and what can happen with God and the ideas of wealth, the ideas of guidance that will come through you that will help you to fulfill your needs now and far in the future. To know that you're not abandoned, to know that you are God's child and that you are meant to be prosperous. Now, the need may be for more guidance. Often, that's the first, is for God's ideas of prosperity. As the Bible says, for light. Light is eliminating the darkness in your own mind and on your own path. Many times, it's for wisdom, so that you know what you need to do to free yourself from lack long term and what you need to do to open the way to a more prosperous state of affairs. Let us think of ourselves as living, moving, and having our being in God's wealth of abundance from which every need is supplied. Second Chronicles 1 verse 12 says, I will give you riches. Well, I pray that you have the riches of God's ideas right now. That it comes to you this day. That you begin to realize that, wait a minute here, I'm not who I thought I was. That I am more. Because God is always more and God is with me, in me, surrounding me, and leading me on my way. I pray that in Jesus Christ's name for you. Amen.